Well, hello fellow cancer bashers. I am Big Coach Brain Cancer, also known as my actual name. And uh, today what we're doing is we are doing a fitness class that is based off of uh, what you can get at that's free, or well, the closest thing to free. And today we're gonna be doing something called resistance training, which just means weights. And uh, so with resistance training, what I'm doing is something that is fairly simple. Most of us have probably done this if we don't have a car or someone broke their car and we just kind of did it by accident. But I'm just going to do it with a heavy shopping bag. So there's nothing that is, you know, it's going to be a bit of a, an art attack thing where, oh, you need, you know, a yoga carton for this. And all I'm using is bottles of water. Um, I've, there's plastic bags. And then I've wrapped the plastic bags up just to kind of make sure that the uh, the bottles that are inside stay upright and don't sort of fall apart and um, make me have to rearrange them again. Uh, and th there's nothing else to it. So there's a plastic bag wrapping around just uh, just in case they might pop. I seriously doubt they would because I'm not throwing these weights around. And then there is a, a bag for life just for safety. Now the ones that, it's very easy to get these uh, heavy enough to get a decent workout no matter how fit you are. So that's what this is all based off. This is all based off of, um, or it's aimed at, uh, people of all uh, abilities. All abilities, all ages, all genders, yeah, 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 yeah. All species, you know, whether you're half parrot or, you know, half toucan, whatever you may be. So bag for life and then a plastic bag to cover and some bottles of water, some bottles of milk. If you can't get your hands on that, just before you start this workout, drink eight pints of milk and then use the, uh, use the bottles. Or you could just buy eight pints of milk and then not drink the milk. <coughs> anyway, so what we are gonna do is we are just gonna do um, nine exercises. Four of them are focused on the legs, but still use a bit of upper body as well. And then five of them are for uh, just upper body. So we're gonna do 25 of each thing for the lower body and then 20 of uh, whatever is for the upper body because that's nice and symmetrical. It's 100 there and 100 there. And we're just gonna keep cycling through them. So for the warm up, we are just gonna go through the exercises because I've seen it so many times in uh, fitness classes in the gyms that I worked in. And I had uh, this sort of elaborate, bizarre, uh, warm-up stretch routine and it's not needed you, as long as you're just slowly bringing your blood uh, your blood your heart rate up that's uh, that's all you need to do when I used to work out in the gym with weights I would just do those weights but I would just do them lighter so starting off let's see let's get our hands on the uh, the list so we are going to get into a what was that say? A lunge with a shrug. Okay. Oh, sorry, a bridge. A bridge. So, with the bridge, what we're going to do is this. The camera angle on this isn't going to be great, but we got to go with what we can. So, I suppose you could say the same thing about the equipment isn't great. So, what you're aiming to do here is get your ankles right the way close to, uh, to your bum. And you are dipping down and then driving up. Make sure you're going up onto your tippy toes like that oh god here she comes and so what you're doing is down go away go away and up onto your tippy toes and so what we're doing here is because we're doing the warm-up we are going through half of everything that we do and we're doing it nice and slowly so we're not focusing on the time we're focusing on the reps if you want to make it harder do them slower or if you want to make them about mid-level difficulty do them fast and really pop your hips up like that. But that'll annoy your shoulders a little bit, pulling against the ground. Now, if you want to make it harder still, sometimes I can't actually do this personally just because my hamstring starts cramping up for some reason. But if you do it with one leg and then pushing up at the end and down, switch your leg up and back down. Okay. So I have been counting as well, so let's just go with one more here. Okay. I suppose getting up with these is going to be tricky enough. If I've got to keep them on my hands. So, next one is a, yeah, a lunge with a shrug. So, stop that. Stop. Stop. 
So, we're just adding something else in. That noise you hear in the background, by the way, is just music turned very, very low down. Something to break it up for me and for you. Make this room feel less like a clinic. So, leg goes forward, and then down is the lunge, and then try and keep your shoulders up high. There's two reasons for doing this. Because it's shot, but it's not ideal weights. They're not tight to your hand, so they're gonna take the weight off your body as you go down. So fight against that and pull them up, because, you know, why turn something negative and not into something positive? So, <coughs> you're working more muscles when you have to do that, so why not? <coughs> Down, so three, four, six. <clears throat> Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Make sure that you're shrugging first and then lowering down. Because if you shrug while going down, you're taking advantage of the favor that gravity is doing. So here, shrug, down, back. Shrug, knee to the ground, and back up. Right, what's the next one? Squat press, okay, good. That's a different positioning to the hands. So you can take your hands off uh, that kind of a grip and you can switch it so you're open to, um, <coughs> if you are into weights, you're into a squat position. And there's a reason that you're in that position because we're gonna do a squat. So driving your knees out to the side. Uh, you can't see my toes, but they're Similar enough to when you're driving the car when it will be uh, 11 to 1, you know, like 10 to 2 is where you're meant to keep your hands 11 and 1 is where you're meant to be pointing your feet. You don't want to have them out too wide like this You want to have them nice and straight driving your hips out to the side. So knees go outside Keep your hands as they are chest upright Come to the top Then extend. Okay, that's the harder way to do it. You can again slowly down on everything to make it the hardest and then uh, to make it easiest use the momentum to drive the shopping up okay so we go down up use the momentum to carry it up for easy and go very very slow for hard so the slower you do it the more time your body is under tension so as an example, think about how long, how difficult it would be to just hold a squat like this. It'd be agony very quickly. Already it's pretty sore for me. <clears throat> but if you're going up and down, you could easily go for much longer. <clears throat> okay, now we'll go two more. Don't worry if you hear my knees clicking. I know I've, if you've heard my previous videos, you've heard me talk about meniscus damage, but that's not actually it. I just have uh, knees to crack. Nothing bad about it. It's called, uh, something called synovial fluid, um, which is fancy talk for, it's just a build up of, um, carbon dioxide says I thought I heard something go there. Build up of carbon dioxide which then um, pops out when your joints come to a certain angle. So now we're getting into something called a single leg uh, deadlift. What it involves is the leg just going back like this and same once we are forward a little bit of what's called a row. So we go back and now this one we do have to go uh, focus on the one foot because if we do steps it's not enough of a workout if you find it difficult and you want to switch to the steps that's fine
Okay, and now let's switch. I'm not really counting these to be perfectly honest. I'm just doing it per feel because again, it is a warm up. Nice and controlled the whole way through. Getting into the focusing on the upper body stuff. So we've done a little bit of it, but that is mostly uh, legs. Now, starting off, we are going to do uh, a bicep curl. I'm going to turn to the side to show you how to make this as difficult as possible. So again, you're not going to be able to get heavy weights, but I guarantee I can make these weights very, very heavy if you just do as I say. So elbows, have them pointing in so they are not straight down like this. When they're straight down like this, you can often get a bit of a momentum going like that we, from not our biceps, which we don't want. If you want to focus just on our biceps, hook the elbows into your rib cage here, then lift straight up and avoid as much as possible hanging around here. Because this, this is a position of comfort. You know, if you were to hold your shop and you hold it up here on your shoulders and that's not a million miles away so if you want it to be harder then do it this way so again elbows in and all the way up to where they're pointing a little bit forward they're not picking your nose yet they're pointing forward and back down if you want to go even harder what you do is you use the tilt of your back to help gravity get worse. So you go forward, lifting up. Oh, sorry, I've done that wrong. So you start backwards. And if you think of it like, um, let's say my elbow is a lever or a, a, a diving board, okay? Think about how much, you, how much more it weigh on the diving board here and or here, here it will weigh much more. Think about if you had a weight on your arm, how much it would push down. I don't know why I have to add in the diving board into that. You have a weight there, that's gonna be pushing down a lot more than if you have a weight on your elbow being held up like that. In fact, that would have been easier, Ian. <laughs> how heavy is something on your shoulder versus something on an extended hand? Jesus, that was a long workaround. <clears throat> so, that's the bicep curl. We'll do two more of those. Again, you want to do it easy, make it faster. You want to do it harder, really, really slow. If you want to do them fast, that's good for strength. If you do them slow, it is good for strength, but it's focusing more on bodybuilding, which is what most people go to the gym for. You want to look big and dangerous rather than be dangerous. <laughs> so now we are moving into our next one which is the overhead press um, yeah I'll get down just to show do this standing up but I'm just doing this for the camera so again same sort of rule we're nice and comfortable here we don't want that comfortable is not our friend comfort is not our friend here so a little bit of a dip is fine but don't hang the weights in where you can uh, like a resting point it is work but you know, it's 2% compared to 50. So we're up, muscle is under tension, up over the head, and a little bit of a press once you get up. So that's kind of the height, but go that extra little inch and make sure you're using all of your back. And then back down nice and slowly, and don't bounce. This is fine, there's nothing wrong with bouncing, but we're using light weights. If you go to the gym regularly, these weights will seem like they're light, but I promise you, do it this way, and they will not feel light. So, do a few more of those. The dog's ringing her doorbell, so. <clears throat> Consistency. Inky, come up. Come on. Now, fingers crossed. We hear 
another bell on the other side, rather than her just going, Woo! Woo! <clears throat> because the new house is going good, but there have been some slight issues. So, what did we just do? We just completed the, um, the warm-up and the explanation for the overhead press. Now we're doing something called the lateral rise. So this one uh, might be hard if you have set your weights to something that's difficult for the other exercises. So you might need to use a little bit of momentum for this, which is fine, because what you can do is you can use momentum to get them up and then hold them as long as possible on the way down. That's a really good way to get a good workout because it's called a negative. So we go up and then oh, down like that. If they are light and that's very easy, then just the up part should be fine. Now, even though I was able to do that, I am still gonna use the momentum because I'll run out of gas with that very quickly. So, when you're using momentum, dip your hips back. You can have them beside here, that's best, but no problem with dipping your hips back and then sort of like a swimming maneuver. And we'll do two more of those. Also, with the bags, it is a lot harder to go like this, so don't feel bad if you twist your hands around to get the more uh, likely grip. Going slightly off in exercises is like, there's, the level of difference that it promotes is very, very small, but it's something that gets pushed as a hard line sort of thing um, <coughs> quite often when it's not actually that important. Oh, you didn't squat all the way to the ground? Oh, Jesus, that doesn't count. Same thing with uh, press-ups. You know, as long as you're doing close to it, if you really can't go outside of that, it's not the end of the world. But, I am a bit of a hypocrite with that, because I do believe for a lot of things, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Now, uh, form-wise, life-wise, less so much. Now, next we are getting into the rows. The rows. So, I'm going to side angle for this one so you can see. Uh, again, you might need to do the same sort of shifting your body weight up and down to avoid the weights touching the ground. Because once they touch the earth, your arms get a chance to rest. And we don't actually want that. We want to keep them busy, keep them working the whole time. It's like when you go out for a run, it's better to slow down than it is to stop. We've all been there <laughs> if you go running. So, try to have your back up a little bit, and then once the weights come up, have your back go down so it is parallel to the ground. So it is flat to the ground. So start off like this, and then move your back down, because again, bringing the traps into it, the traps are very, very strong muscles. When we go shopping, you know what I mean? They don't start feeling sore until you're coming to the end of the house. If you were to walk down the road like this, you'd feel in pain pretty quickly. Anyone who's ever moved a house knows how annoying that position gets when you're moving a shelf or something. So anyway, we're back down, angle ourselves up, flatten out the back and up. Again, make sure you're using the tension to get the most out of a small weight. And that actually, that's work in the back a lot more thinking about it. The lower back to be specific. Okay, and um, what was our last one? Oh yeah, this is, um, this is one that you can switch your grip for if you want to make it harder, okay? So with the hands like this, this is going to be a brutal one pretty quickly. It's called a tricep kickback. We are in the same position. Ooh, that's, a, that's a juicy one. So I'm going to be definitely doing the flicks for these. And if I can get my hands into the position. There we go, close enough. So they go down and then uh, you flick them up like that. Up. 
There go the bells. So, something you can do if uh, you want to focus more on your triceps and well, there's a couple things you can do. You can do them over your head for one. I find this drags the back. But that is not a military press because as you can see, I'm only moving my forearms. So it's up to what you like yourself. Actually with the bags, now that I'm doing them, this is a lot easier. I always do the kickbacks with the with the weights. But anyway, what I was getting at was that if you use a wall or if you have a surface like a kitchen counter, what you can do is you can put your head there, which only a small amount of weight, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna be bruising your forehead. Small amount of weight gives you a, a lot of balance. So you can focus a lot less on the back uh, than on the tricep. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the, uh, the tricep exercise. I think I might play around with them. <coughs> do one, one set and do one, the other. But those are the four exercises. <coughs> now, we're gonna get into the actual workout. So let's see, how long has that been on for? 22 minutes, that's probably a bit of an explanation. Oh, she's gonna knock that down. All right, well let's keep it simple, because this is probably, this is aimed at people who um, are probably closer to starting off stage than intermediate. And I'd be doubtful of uh, someone advanced. People who are advanced usually don't need to be told how to exercise. They found out their way how to do it anyway. So, we'll just do two, um, two circuits. So we're gonna go through those exact same exercises. We're gonna do uh, 25 for the lower body ones, 25 reps, um, 24 for some of them because they're one-legged things. And then we are gonna do 20, or uh, yeah, 20 for the upper body ones. And we're gonna do the whole thing two times. So 400 reps in total, time of flyby. So what do we start with? We started with the bridge. So grip the bags nice and close. And again, it's gonna be messy. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fit right on you at all. But just um, do it what you can. So Go up on your tippy toes, keep your heel as close to your bum as possible. And try not to have your foot too far high in the air, because that's not where you want your weight to be focused on. Remember, you don't have to be doing one legged for these. and figuratively so something that is ignored is this exercise but a lot of guys in general just because it's not a fun one to do but especially if you do jujitsu this is a really important one to do I shouldn't even need to explain why this is really useful in Jiu Jitsu. <clears throat> if you've ever done any sparring, you know exactly how important 
being able to pop your hips up is, especially with some weight on your own hips. <laughs> so that's especially important why you should be raising the toes. It goes against you mentally. But let's explain this quick. Specifically for Jiu Jitsu, the reason why you want to be getting into the toes is because my hip height comes to here, now it comes to here. So think about the difference of your opponents on top of you and how if you only get them to 45, a 45 degree angle, how easy they'll be able to maintain on you. But getting that extra little pop up means that they go from here to here, which means you can get out from underneath them. <coughs> and uh, I think that was the last one. Anyway. Get out from underneath them. <coughs> okay, now, what was that? That was... Um, Lunge, shrug, next one. So get the bags, get them nice and tight. <laughs> and yeah, even though I'm using water bottles, you can use absolutely anything, anything that is of weight. If you have a lot of uh, cans of you know, food that you're never gonna eat, but you don't wanna throw out because the starving children in Africa, <coughs> and all that sort of shit that you were taught as a child from your mother. DON'T WASTE THAT! You're lucky you have that much food! <coughs> right, so... Down, shrug first, drop the knee to the floor, and then back up, and then, depending on how you want to press back, you could step forward and then go back if you want, and alternate, but... I'm going to focus on the front foot. third way through this set. Traps are already very alert, shall we say. So I'm being a pussy right now. If you want to just press right through, go for it. But they're squeezing into my... My large hands are unfortunately connected by a teeny, tiny baby girl's wrist. All right, squats. So, again, Get into that position, nice and, oh, uh oh, one of them is already leaking. Hopefully it's just the tip or the cap. No, 
I don't think it is. Damn you, milk carton. You're letting the side down. If that were full fat milk, this would still be going on. Sponsored by Tesco and Sainsbury's. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but they're uh, they're good value. And they got in touch with me and they said, Ian, look, we've seen your account is so huge. Can you please help out with our product? We're in dire need. And I said, okay, I will. but only if you pay me in food. And I said, ah, oh, can't afford it. So I said, all right, I'll do it for the kids. It's Tesco and Sainsbury's is run by a lot of eight-year-olds. And my stand-up special is out on the 17th of March. <coughs> Now, uh, right, up we go. So hopefully that doesn't start leaking again. So, 10 and one for where the toes are pointed and keep the, fuck's sake. There we go. Keep the knees driving out to the side, so. Down. I might not be able to do this in a vest. Uh, it yanks at the skin quite bad amounts. Uh, I look like I'm lifting up a trophy there. Yay, Six Nations champions, people of France. Yeah, you can already see how red that's getting. I'm gonna straight just cut out the uh, the overhead press part of that. Sue me! We're doing overhead press later in the thing, so I encourage you to do it if your exercises aren't annoying you. But I'm not I'm not gonna tear my skin up. So I'm just gonna keep them as a weight on my shoulders, weighing down my upper body. That's all I care about with this. <laughs> I'm going to slow it down and really focus on making it more difficult for my legs instead. So see the way I'm not fully extending? That's intentional. I'm keeping the pressure on my legs. The whole time. If you're doing this for heavy weights, go right ahead and stretch your legs out. But if you just want to feel a burn, just feel some unpleasantness, like so.
Moving on to now the deadlifts. Single leg deadlifts. Okay. easier without that mat for me. So remember one leg back, teetering forward, pull, back up. If you want as well you could bring your knee up here to show sort of a sense of balance but entirely up to you. This is your workout. So we are down, try not to get the balance from touching a weight on the ground. Three, four, five, six, eight. Ah, oh, that was burning. That was burning. So I'm just going to do one straight forward with your right hand, right foot on the floor. Remember that this is a balancing thing, so the less you touch the floor with any object with your left foot, the less you tap it with your toe, the better. So that's kind of part of what the knee forward thing was about, because it helps maintain your balance. In some ways it makes it easier. Okay, fake explanation to get rest. And that seemed like you're a bum. Completing it. Next one. One. Two. What I'm doing there, try to avoid that, the touching of the floor. Ah, doing it again. Last one. Okay, one quarter complete. Now we go on to, oh man, that is really, that really burns into the legs. So now we're going into the upper body stuff. Five exercises, five exercises, <clears throat> and uh, 20 reps per exercise. Okay. So, first one, bicep curls. Let's, uh, yeah, about there. So, control at all times. Try not to have it go all the way up. Oh, that is gonna grind away some skin. Um, I think I've got a pair of gloves at my 
stuff that you can see, like, I don't know, nah, you can't really see it too much. Where's my Vaseline glove? Hopefully my old gym gloves are enough. They have weathered poorly with time and lack of use. But, uh, ah, that's part, oh God, they don't even stick anymore. That's part of that charm, isn't it? <clears throat> They've seen some shit. And from experience, because I bought these gloves twice, you can't actually watch them because then they just disintegrate. They're golf gloves. I seen a video with Marky Mark doing them and I thought, well, they actually do look like they grip things better. <clears throat> so I went for them and I shall never turn back. Anyway, so arms extended out so it's not straight down if you really want to get it to work hard. And oh yeah, that's much better already. Three. Four, five, six, seven, You can already see, now I'm pumping the sweat. Getting the grip is not the easiest. So, overhead press, remember to push your shoulders right the way up in the air at the end. Oh, already this grip feels nicer. But I suppose I said that at the start of the other one. So I think this is perfectly safe to do these. Hopefully you'll be able to see it, the sort of karate chop style grip. There's nothing unsafe about them or not. Um, advantageous in fact there's a lot of people that say lifting like this with dumbbells is better than uh, the straight sort of grip that you would have that you would have with um, a barbell or replicating a barbell
I said I'd do two rounds of this. Why did I think that two rounds was light? <coughs> All right, so into the lateral rise. Remember, it's perfectly fine for you to swing them up. Just try not to swing them down because you can get a lot more work done on the down swing. So bring them up and then, oh God, down. So just from the side, lean forward a little bit or you can go straight like this. This is the most disciplined way, but you can cheat a little. Oh, I can't, I can't do that this heavy. I gotta use my hips a bit here. Oh, and not go as wide. If I had lighter weights, I'd be using it right now because I'm, I, I think it's a much better workout to lift something lighter and lift it with really good form. But, uh, taking the bottles out would waste a lot of time. Uh, and I'm going half, I'm not going to 20 for this, it's stupid. I'm just gonna be wasting time focusing on one muscle while the other ones are recovering a little bit too much. So three more. Last one, last one, last one. some of the easier ones to do. So, dip down, get your back as parallel to the ground as possible. And we're doing rows. to the seal for this. Actually, that's too low. Defeats the purpose. So yeah, it's going to be overhead, tricep, <sighs> tricep, they're not kickbacks anymore, I can't even think what they are called, just tricep, dog will probably like that, she's lying down. I tell you what, yeah there she goes. I'm very glad that this is an online shh, online class because truth be told for the first time in months I bought a load of crunching or cornflakes and you best believe because I, <laughs> I wanted to get the milk a milk carton I needed another milk carton to make this video and you best believe that I ate that whole thing in pretty much one day and it is making a bit of a smell having that much uh, lactose go through a recently fasted uh, length of intestines now's a good time to like and subscribe if you want to hear more juicy content like that uh, and I suppose 
Now is actually a good time to mention that while all these uh, uh, classes are free to absolutely anyone that will have them, come on. If you can go into the description uh, and see curecancer or dietrying.com, this is all about a world record that I'm trying to break. Oh god, I can't. I can't do that. It's just too heavy. Maybe if I just do one. If I just do one. Why did I say I'd do two? Why did I say I'd do two? An hour! Pfft. I'm calling it. I am calling it. <laughs> I'm a wimp. I'll be the first to admit it. I am a wimp. I am not doing that again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself a pass and lie to myself and lie to my lack of motivation. And I'm gonna say, that, that was a lot harder than I thought it would be and I over over committed myself or I blah 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 <clears throat> truth be told I think at this point as a viewer you are getting tired of it and you've seen what the workout is if you really want to do it again do it again I think I got the rep ranges mucked up in that one it would have been better I will do this one again but I think I'd do it with um, fewer reps and more uh, sets, more going through it all, maybe go through it three times, but have it, you know, a third of the thing, because changing the exercise up, moving around means there's less time going, oh, oh, and more time just going, okay, next one, next one, next one. Anyway, like and subscribe if you want to see more Twitch fitness <laughs> channels, disasters that don't work out well for some dope. And uh, yeah, uh, if you have any friends that will be interested in this sort of thing, share it around with your mates. The more the channel grows, it means the more people see it, the more people are likely to actually donate to the channel because, which is what this is all about. If there's something that you liked about the, um, liked about the class, uh, leave a comment. Uh, uh, please tell me specifically what you like so then I know in the next class to do that because this is for a viewer. This is for viewership. This is not for, uh, this is not for my workout. Uh, my workouts are all about runs and, you know, that's not going to help a run. <coughs> So, um, yeah, tell, tell uh, anyone and anyone who would be interested in this sort of thing. And if you have personal preferences, if you said, oh, that, that, that uh, home, uh, home stuff idea was really good, but, you know, like a lot of us, I am willing to spend a little bit of money on equipment. Can you do something with a resistance band? I will do something with a resistance band uh, moving forward. And moving on, I'm, I'm going to, as the weeks go by, as the days go by, increase the amount of... Um, uh, equipment, the expense of the equipment that I use, so that it appeals to starting off anyone, everyone, and as the weeks and months go by, uh, it shows uh, to people who are a bit more advanced, who uh, are more interested in their fitness. And then I'm going to go back down and I'm going to restart it again, and I keep doing a cycle like that so that I can get to as many people as possible and hopefully maybe get some people into fitness to actually purchase some. Uh, some fitness equipment because with a bit of a bit of creativity and a bit of thought you know look at other people on YouTube you can you can get a resistance band you can get a shopping bag and you can turn that into a workout that will level someone who is professionally fit and particularly fit at the moment because a marathon training you know that's a it's nothing to do with lifting weights but it is to do with you know mental uh, 
mental toughness with endurance and <laughs> that put me to shame pretty quickly. But um, yeah, uh, drop the video. And again, most important thing I could really hope for is if you leave comments at the moment because I would love to know what people are enjoying, what people aren't enjoying. Specifically, don't feel like you're gonna hurt my feelings. I wanna learn, I wanna be better. Um, yeah, all that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm neandering. You get my point. Get, help me out with some tips, with some opinions.